Hey guys, Adolfo here, and today I'm here to tell you how I went from this to this and how you can do the same now that you're getting back to the gym after quarantine. So for those of you that haven't seen my transformational video, which you can click here to see it, this transformation happened last year after I had a tonsil removal surgery. And after this surgery, I was not able to work out for about a little more than one month. Nutrition was really bad, but when I came back to the gym, I knew the right things to do in order to make muscle memory play on my favor. So that's what I'm going to tell you about in this video so that you can do it yourself now that you lost your gains and you're getting back to the gym. So to start, I think it's important for you to understand that the way that the muscle grows it's not only by pumping it like a balloon and uh, it just fills up and then, you know, it gets bigger. What's actually happening is that by stimulating the muscle in the workout, you are going to create these micro tears in the muscle. And then when you eat, when you have the protein and so on, that protein is broke down into amino acids and these amino acids are going to fill up those tears in your muscle. That's going to cause your muscle to grow. It means that if you overdo the stimulus, your body is not going to be able to keep up with it. So what I'm going to tell you is a four week plan that's going to allow you to get back to the gym, start slowly and getting back your gains as fast as possible. So your workouts have three important variables that you have to keep in mind, especially during this month, which are volume, load and intensity. Volume is the amount of sets and reps that you do. Load is how much you are lifting and intensity is based around drop sets, super sets. So in the first week, you are going to keep these three variables to a minimum. This is the perfect opportunity for you to really develop that good form at the gym, perform your movements slowly and have a good mind muscle connection to your body. Caffeine is the main stimulant in pre-workout. Some people take it just as a coffee, but I want you to cut it out completely during these first weeks. And you're going to do a workout that is relatively short in the 30 to 45 minute mark. Then second week is going to come around and you're going to increase the number of exercises a bit and you're going to keep the remaining variables to a low level. So the low and the intensity are going to be still low. So this workout should take you between 45 and 60 minutes. Now for the third week, you're going to increase the number of sets a little bit. You're going to increase also the load and you're going to start getting closer to failures. So let's say that 10 is failure for you, you're going to be at the eight or nine when doing the exercises. So you're not going to push yourself completely, but you're slowly but steadily getting there. The workout should take between 60 and 75 minutes. Now for the fourth week, this is where you're going to start going to failure and doing progressive overload. And what progressive overload means is that you're going to start lifting more than you did on the last time especially on compound movements, squat, overhead press, bench press, and deadlift. And for this week, it should take between 60 and a maximum of 90 minutes. And you might be thinking by now, I just want my caffeine, I want my coffee back. And now you can with one condition, is that you're only going to use caffeine for your lagging body part. So let's say that you feel that your legs are kind of skinny in comparison to the rest of your body and that you are training legs twice a week. I want you to have coffee or pre-workout only before you train legs and not on any other workout, all right? If you want caffeine on the other workouts, have a small amount, you have green tea, black tea, just have these small amounts of caffeine, but like the real amounts, keep them to the leg day. So I hope you guys make a good use of these tips and this plan. Make sure that you comment down below if you have any questions. I'm always here to help you and I'll see you next time.